Hi, I'm Jeff Watts, and this Lightbulb Talk is all about decision making. Do you find yourself struggling to make decisions? Are you overwhelmed because you have too many decisions to make or things to do? Creating a decision making strategy could be one of the best things you ever do. Not all decisions are equally important, and not all decisions are equally risky, and therefore you shouldn't spend an equal amount of time or energy on them. By prioritising your decisions, you can reduce the total number of decisions on your plate, and allocate more time to the more important ones. Some decisions don't even need to be made. Sometimes, by delaying a decision, you can find that the need for action disappears. Procrastination can actually be beneficial sometimes. A simple 2x2 two two matrix can also be helpful here. The first step is to identify the easy decisions. Those that are simple or low risk and require little buy-in or support. These decisions have little ramifications if they're wrong and it doesn't matter if people agree. So just make them and move on. If engagement or buy-in is preferable and the risk of a wrong decision is still low, you can delegate these to other people. Get them off your plate and increase the sense of responsibility in others. When decisions become complicated or risky, it's best to take some time over them. Gather information from a number of sources and then, if people are unlikely to be upset by the decision, just decide after the consultation. The decisions that are the most important fall into the top right quadrant, and these are the ones you want to spend most of your time on. Collaborate with people on these ones. It sounds simple, right? And it is in many ways. You may find yourself needing to be ruthless though if too many decisions end up in that top right quadrant. Are you assuming too much engagement is needed? Are you overcomplicating things and assuming decisions are more risky than they actually are? It's quite easy to do. Perhaps you're unconsciously finding it difficult to trust people enough to delegate to them. If so, you could try setting boundaries or conditions when deciding to trust others and delegate. However you decide to decide, one thing you'll need to do is to decide to trust and value yourself. Decide that your time is important and that your judgment is worth something. I hope you found this light bulb talk useful and decide to enhance your decision making process somehow as a result.